Okay, today is May the 5th. Oh, so happy single to mile. And I have my van diary for today is for actually yesterday. Um, it stormed here in um, Pigeon Forge. I mean, absolutely cannot see in front of you more than five feet stormed. And where my van was parked was at a slope. And the rain spillover actually got into the van. Um, I need new seals here. And so the water came in through there. Came in through there. Through there. <laughs> and my whole bed right here down um, is wet. My sheets were wet. My blankets were wet. I mean, I got in bed. I'm like, oh my gosh, did I just use the bathroom by myself? It was horrible. <laughs> And it was late and I was tired, so I just stripped everything off. Thankfully, I bought a waterproof um, cover for the bed. So the bed was only wet where the water penetrated from the side of the window, I mean, of the back door. And so my bed, like in the center and, and all the way towards the front, was not wet. It was just the edge, so I had to pull everything off. Um, last night and I was like just done um, yesterday was a really long day and I actually um, just laid down a blanket I actually just laid down my one of my blankets um, and slept like that last night but I had to literally string my sheets up and I have a battery powered fan um, blowing on them and that's how I dry and that's how I dry them last night is I sh I um I strung them up so and my pillow got wet both of my pillows got wet and my blanket so all that stuff is hanging and sitting in the front seat of the van I'm about to get up um I still slept pretty well, <laughs> even with the circumstances. Um, even this this right here was wet. Um, it's, it's now it's dry, um, but um, this part right here just got wet. This curtain got wet um, on both sides, but now they're both dry. Um, so the water came in through the top here and rolled down and got it rolled down and got here and the water accumulated there so now i have to lift the mattress up today and so to make sure that it dries out so it doesn't get any type of mildew or moisture let the wood breathe thankfully these panels right here are cedar so they'll soak in that they'll soak in the water and they'll be okay. Um, so I don't have to really worry about that. I just have to mainly make sure this bed dries out because I don't want to have to buy a new bed. But yes, that was that was yesterday. Today's a new day, so we'll see what today brings. Hopefully, I'll get a little sun because I'm not getting any sun to my solar. And that really sucks as well. Van life is not always like, woohoo, <laughs> just Instagram photos and stuff. Like, other shit happens. But it's all good, right? It's part of the process. And, you know, you got to deal with stuff when you live in your vehicle. So this is the first time something like this has ever happened. Um,. So I need to get new seals to the van, but I mean, it, was, it is what it is, and I mean, that rainfall, I plan on not being in places where it's raining like that, so I never have to really worry about the seal, so maybe, um, but that rain yesterday was out of control, and it shows in the van. I even got water on the floor 
through the front wind front doors I never get water in my front doors and I even saw water condensation on the floor in the front so um, hopefully that'll dry out I'm just grateful that I put down um, an outdoor carpet so it dries like very very quickly but um, yeah yesterday was like a monsoon I'm telling you guys but today's a new day and we'll see what it brings but I think I'm gonna get up and head to the laundromat and dry my um, stuff out is mainly dry but I want to make sure it's completely dry so I'm gonna go and dry that stuff out properly hope that y'all have a wonderful day today peace all right so I'm at the laundromat it's like six in the morning <laughs> drying out my blankets and my sheets and my pillows and also my mattress so the water definitely was coming from up here there's no water on the on the there's no water down here in this area at all it's not wet there's no moisture the water was coming in from the top here see I need to redo these um, these seals like these are completely drenched right now so the water came in through there through the seam and then onto the bed so my bed is is um, damp and so is the wood here so what I did is I put the woods only damp right here everything else is dry down there um, everything else is dry down there but this is what I did I put down some I learned this from Van City Van Life I put down some um, cans so that I can get a little lift so that this can dry this is actually not too uh, moist but this wood here is a little moist so I have to dry that out so I'll, those cans will be up all day and yeah like I said van life <laughs> but you know van is running and that's the best part, right? Um, all the little other logistics, I can figure those things out. As long as I have my home itself. So, me, Parker, we're going to make it through it. <laughs> Later, guys. Love and light. Okay, I had to actually have these um, little lifts that I use lift the van but I'm sitting on the incline so what I did was I put one underneath the refrigerator so the refrigerator will be sitting level and but I'm gonna be pulling that refrigerator out and I bought these pans I couldn't find anything so I bought some of those you know that you use for your boots and I'm gonna custom I'm gonna cut it so that it fits the refrigerator um, and I can use it as a drain a drain pan something that I didn't think about when I got the van because I didn't I didn't realize how unlevel places could be in Tennessee I swear nothing in Tennessee is level <laughs> everything is at a slant it's absolutely crazy I'm at a slant right now so I'm just kind of like Ooh. don't have a shredder so this is my shredder <laughs> Alright, let me put this in the trash, be responsible. So I put it in a plastic bag. So I know, what I notice here in Tennessee is that 
I don't see a lot of parks that have recycling bins. So I put this into a plastic bag. And it's not even like cover for critters. So I put it in a plastic bag so my stuff won't be flying all over the parking lot. Isn't that pretty? This is one of my favorite places. You guys have probably seen this place before. <laughs> it's so peaceful. Man is looking oh, a hot mess, guys. Just a hot mess. So for those who ask about my propane tank, it actually sits right here. When I use it, I just bring it and it can sit right on the ground, just like that. And when I'm done, I can unplug it if I want, but I haven't been unplugging it. I've just been storing it right here. So, because the refrigerator was unleveled, all my stuff kind of flew out. Look at that, I spilled my tuna melt mix. It just spilled out, so I gotta do that. I got some things I need to throw out, like that lettuce. It's been there for a while. That's kind of gross. Oh, that was some watermelon. But I'm pretty packed, huh? The freezer, we got some uh, I think oh, there's a bottle of water in there too. Next, I put on some shorts so that I can move around a little better and not have my boobs hanging out for the people driving by. So I'll see you guys in a second. This is my little workbench. Look at this piece of wood. I was gonna make something out of it, but it just kind of turned into a work, a little work area. We need one strip to go there.
bull. Get in some sun. Look at my babies. So pretty. Look at my babies. I keep messing up this one. I know it's really tired of me. I feel so bad. I broke a little limb off last night. This one's hard, having a hard time. But this one is growing really well. This one started really like small. And it's starting to grow. And of course I have the pretties here. Hi pretties. I need to measure out um, the width of the refrigerator so that it sits in the pan. I can figure out what I did with my measuring tape. Oh, I don't see. Hopefully it's up here. I oh, see I need to go through my storage stuff because sorry, that's probably way too close. Can't figure out where I put things. I'm gonna pay a lot for that. Um, I'm gonna pay a lot for that, so I need to figure out where it's at. But here also, can't find some other things <laughs> that are missing. Well, they're not missing, but they're just they're misplaced. Exactly missing, but I would like to know where they are. Starting with my measuring tape, I really need that. Hope I didn't leave it in Florida. That's a big possibility because I don't remember seeing it. Okay, that is suck. So I really need that today to do the work that I need to do. Hmm. It's not in my little pouch where I keep all my little tools and stuff at. My little pouch of tools in there too. Gotta figure it out. Okay, I found my measuring tape. Not my expensive one, but at least I had a spare. So what I have to do is measure this space here um, from here to here, which should be 19 inches. And then the same thing with these pans that I bought. So there's two pans. One is 14 inches across. So what I'm going to have to do is cut one of them to make up the 19. Then I'm going to glue them together and seal them in with silicone and with silicone and hopefully that'll fix my drainage problem until I'm, I've been really hesitating on this but I'm just gonna go ahead and buy a 12 volt refrigerator so I don't have this problem um, but yes I, I'm just I'm a procrastinator guys and I've been procrastinating on it for about two and a half months and I know that I should have done it and now I really being here I'm like why didn't I just buy it so I'm going to be ordering a um, 12 volt refrigerator this week and hopefully I can install it on one of my next days off but this is what we're going to do until then to solve the drainage problem because I don't want to ruin my wood um, because it actually got onto my wood so I need to make sure that that is taken care of. So this is my temporary solution until I get the refrigerator. Got my stuff. Got my measuring tape. I, got, I bought a brand new box cutter so I can get through this rubber, some silicone, and this flex glue to glue everything back together. So let's get to Frankenstein in this biatch. I am definitely not the best at cutting things straight and I don't have any stock 
so that's another reason why I got the silicone <laughs> so that after I glue everything together I can silicone everything and make sure that it is waterproof so here we go first one is 14 it's 14 and a half across so basically what I need to do is cut off from the corner piece the rounded piece off because of what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add the rounded piece to the part that is lacking on the side so that's what I'm gonna do first I'm going to cut this piece off I was hoping I could use something to make sure that it's straight but I guess I did that and a handy dandy box cutter Like I said, I, I suck at cutting straight lines. So right now I'm going to cut off four inches. Oh, I missed my, book, my other one. I'm going to cut off four inches. it doesn't it's not ready to use gotta go take it apart guys it sucks here mm -hmm. this is gonna be I don't know because I'm at a slant hopefully it doesn't slide right out <laughs> into the into the park Oh. 
move it over to this side right here. Everything right now is falling towards the front. I'm going to reset it on the Sitting up straight. Okay, so the measurements. Where did I put the tape? So the measurements are 17. But we need to make it a little bit larger than 17. I need to clean out back there, dry it out. So, like I said, there was it was unlevel, and like I said I have to go back there and dry everything out. But like I was saying earlier, in Tennessee is not level. There's no parking space I think I've parked in yet that is level. So it's kind of making the refrigerator drain. Um, so there's a little bit of wetness under there, not a lot. I'm just gonna get that out. Then I'll bring in those pieces and we'll see if they uh, fit. Okay, so right off the back, I know that I have to take that back lip off of there. So it slides in smoothly. So you can see here, this is what it, it, it'll just sit right in there. I could actually use my sealing and seal this right in when it lapped over each other so that way I have a complete seal and I know that it's the way it needs to be I still have to cut off this back lip so this can slide all the way back to the wall and I need to cut here as well so Gotta figure that out. I'm gonna cut that off there, but I still need these lip pieces here so that I can, um, um so that it fit, I won't be tripping over it. For one, <laughs> so I gotta figure that out, but I think I might do that. I might actually layer these together and glue it, glue them on top of each other. So I have that perfect seal. And then silicone everything in. Um, so that I can so to be just sealed off. Seal on the top, seal silicone on the top, silicone it on the bottom. And then we can just put the refrigerator right into the pan and slide the whole thing in. And then that would settle that problem right there so let's see okay so I'm going to be gluing this back together. I cut off some more of the piece. Um, I probably could cut even more. Bring it down to closest to 18 and a half right now. It's at, what now it's at night 20 inches. So I don't think I want to do that. I think I just want to just push this over like that. And I'll be gluing that on um, together next because oh, shoot. always pick up your stuff, guys. Microplastics last for decades. All right. Got our glue, put the top on there, and we're going to head over to the van what we can do. Space. And we are going to 
Ayan. This is all the way out. That way. This is all the way out this way. And I'm going to move this up. This right here. We got our glue. Put it on. We're going to put our glue down. For a little bit and then I will I still have to put the other pieces on so I'm gonna go and get those so I can work on that but, um, I probably should not be using my fingers I don't advise this for anyone to do um, but I'm trying to get it underneath there Let that marinate. So this is what I did. It has to cure. I put it that uh, it's liquid now. So I put it all the way here, down to the edge, and then I'm gonna actually. I don't have enough time today, but I'm gonna have to. Um, I'm gonna reseal it. Okay, so. I'm trying to think like this is driving me crazy. I think I'm going to go buy some flex seal tape and just completely seal it off because that flex seal is supposed to work on anything. And then I'll put these pieces um, back on here. Put these pieces back on like that. And use the same flex glue to seal that piece in there do that on the opposite side as well I'm just gonna flex flex seal it like just lop that stuff on there and then tomorrow like I'll do it in the morning before I go to work and then tomorrow while I'm at work it can dry and I'll just leave the refrigerator out um, and do it that way so this can this video so I think I'm going to end this video right here and I'll just show you guys the end result um, in the next video. I also will be buying a refrigerator this week. It's long overdue. I should, I should have done it in the beginning, but I was trying to be cheap and you see what cheap gets you. So I will see y'all next time. Love and light. <laughs>